and I thank you for letting me come. The nation's health secretary and Maryland's governor were part of a Friday morning mental health forum. Both agreed that recent acts of violence, like the ones we've seen playing out near Baltimore City high schools, often leave behind a level of trauma that must be addressed at an early age. The best way that you are going to be able to support that child who's dealing with these challenges is making sure that their family, guardians, etc., are getting the sports. And that's led to a renewed state and federal effort to support and expand school-based mental health services on campus. And kids have less access, especially low-income kids have access to the care they need now. Not when they're teenagers and manifesting real problems. Not when they're adults and then do really bad problems. Problems the governor says far too often lead to street violence. A lot of this violence is retaliatory, right? It's you get me, one of my people are going to get three of your people. The concerns both leaders hope will lead to an even stronger state and federal partnership in tackling this issue. In his recently released state budget, the governor requested more than a billion dollars to support mental health services and what he calls substance use programs. In North Baltimore, Tim Tootin, WBAL, TV 11 News.